I'm out walking today to get a little bit of fresh air. So I thought it was uh, actually a good time to update you a little bit about the, the, the current legislation of electric unicycles in Denmark because something has changed. From the beginning of 2018, we don't need to be outlaws anymore. We can ride our electric unicycles in the pub. This is super, super cool. I'll just play back the part from a TV where they announced this new proposal. I know it's in Danish, but at least you can look at the pictures. There's some restrictions uh, to this new uh, legislation. It says uh, right now the suggestion is that uh, the maximum speed is uh, around 20 kilometers an hour. The weight of uh, the unit is uh, around 15 kilos and the range is between 10 and 20 kilometers. I'm not sure that this starting point is uh, particularly good, but it's a super, super change from uh, not uh, being able to ride uh, these uh, vehicles in public. I'm pretty pumped that uh, now I can do this without uh, looking over my shoulder all the time. I do want to say that uh, 20 kilometers an hour seems like a little bit too low. I fully understand uh, the risk of uh, riding uh, too fast, like 30 kilometers an hour. That could be pretty dangerous without any uh, demand of uh, using uh, safety protection. But 20 seems a little bit too low because electrical bikes are limited to 25 kilometers an hour. So there's sort of a mismatch between uh, the maximum speed for an electrical bike and uh, the electrical unicycle. But I hope they, uh, once uh, this... Uh, gets a little bit further down the road that they will get their eyes up to this uh, difference. Also, I think it's uh, it's pretty odd that they have a maximum weight um, limit for the for the electric unicycles because uh, sometimes uh, weight is uh, it correlates directly to safety because the more powerful unicycles, you don't have to ride them at full speed, but at least they have some extra battery capacity that will help you in, uh, in case of uh, trouble like potholes in the road, uh, etc. As far as I could understand, this uh, legislation is uh, right now just a trial and uh, they want to evaluate this after a period of time. So uh, there's uh, still a possibility that they will adjust uh, the limitations or the restrictions that has been uh, that has been added uh, to this uh, as a suggestion. So why, uh, why post this on the channel? Uh, this is an English speaking channel that is <laughs> is viewed by uh, many people from across the world and this legislation is only local. I would say that we have been fighting hard against the system for the last uh, two years and we have uh, been doing a lot of uh, events where we're showing off unicycles to the public. We have been riding politicians. Uh, we even had uh, one of the guys from one of the parties uh, riding electric unicycles. So we have been doing a lot of lobby work to uh, convince everybody that this is the way forward. So I'm pretty excited that this actually happened. I can't say that this is our, uh, that we did this uh, but at least we contributed a little bit by showing off the technology and it seems that the government now is open to new ways of commuting inside the city so this is a uh, i think it's a move in the right direction and uh, i also find that uh, all of you guys living in countries uh, with strict legislations uh, keep trying keep trying to convince the officials that this is the right way forward it's a new world where we have a lot of uh, electric vehicles uh, available and of course they should be part of uh, of the city commuting there's no uh, no way around this. It's just a matter of time when this, this will be a natural part of uh, the city community. I hope you enjoyed this little walk and talk. If you did, then press the like button below because this helps me understand if uh, you like this kind of content. Take care and see you on the next one.